What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at one of our state stock trout streams to do a little bit of trout fishing. This is one of the most pressured creeks in the entire state. It gets hit really hard and really fast. And in today's video, I wanna share with you guys how I break down a creek and how I locate high percentage fishing locations in order to capitalize on these really pressured fisheries. In today's video guys, we're gonna be using the loose mock pearl. We're gonna be changing up baits throughout the day from spinners to uh, different jigs, maybe a spoon. We'll try to find what works best for these fish. We are in a fishery today that is holding brown trout. But if we find that the brown trout are biting well, well, we happen to have their kryptonite in our pocket. But let's not waste any time, guys. Let's start to break down this creek. I'll explain to you guys what I'm doing, where I'm finding them at, and we'll learn a little bit together as the day goes on. So stick around and let's have some fun. All right, when in doubt, throw in the pinch crawler. That's about all I know to say. There he is. There he is. Nice one. Brown trout. That's a good one. On the old yellow pinched crawler. Come on over here, little buddy. There we go. Gorgeous first fish on the old pinch crawl, not even hooked in the mouth, hooked on top of the head of all places. Gorgeous little fish right there. Let's just let her go. Heck yeah. All right, let's get one right up next to that stick now that we can. There we go, there we go. That's probably gonna be a fish right there. There he is, nice one. Right up underneath that limb, just like I was saying, guys. Heck yeah. Big old nice one too, boys. Heck yeah. Another brownie. Big old nice one too, guys. Big old nice one. There we go. Heck yeah. I'm telling you guys. The last couple of videos haven't been proof enough. I'm not sure what is. But that little pinch crawler is just the ticket. We worked not only the trout magnet, but also the Freaky Franks little Freaky Worms guys. And we did get a couple bites. But ever since switching up to the pinch crawler, we've been catching. Heck yeah, let's let her go. Take off, little girl. There she goes back strong. Heck yeah. Well, brother, I'm going to leave this hole to you. I hope you catch them up. Yep, I'll catch them up. Heck yeah. Alrighty, guys. Now we have got ourselves a big long stretch of shallow water. We've got our polarized lenses on. We're just gonna walk it. We're gonna keep our eyes open. We know that there's brown trout in here. And typically speaking, brown trout are a little bit darker than the bottom, as well as darker than other fish. So, might see one right here, can't quite tell. Nope, just a shadow of a rock, that's okay. I'll just keep it moving. But typically, that's what you're looking for little log down in the creek over there beautiful place to hold a trout we got him beautiful place to hold a trout because it just is what it is guys absolutely stunning looking little spot could not see this fish cast it over there to him and he hammered it guys heck yeah slide down here in the creek flip right on into the net a gorgeous little rainbow here guys little male beautiful little fish right there absolutely gorgeous let's just let him swim right on back into the creek there with his buddies and i say let's make that cast again guys all i did was i cast it up above this old limb here and i let it drift down to it so same thing again cast way above it let that old crawler get down there kind of drag the bottom at first till it dips down into the hole totally fine and then we just want to watch it guys watch it drift out through there if there's another fish underneath that old limb he should come out just like the last fish did, grab the float, and take off with it. Slowing down and looking all around right here. Typically, when you're talking about stock trout, they'll get to a location like this right here. And as you can see, we've got our ripples over here to our left that's rolling down. The trout do not want to go down that, so they'll try to keep themselves above it 
up in this area here. So I'm kind of walking around this little tail right here, but I'm just not seeing too much guys. Just not seeing too much. Typically they'd be right in this area. Um, it could just be that they've been called out right through here. We did get one just up above a little way. So very possible. I can actually see one right underneath that limb over there. No way we can get to him though. But that looks like it's about typically they'd be grouped up right here but today that's not the case we'll just keep it moving guys we'll go to the end of this little run right here and we'll keep our eyes open and we'll hope to find another little pot of fish or maybe a little single somewhere and get us one more in the net oh there he was right there in the fast moving current no way seen this little run we're right over the edge where all those ripples where we were talking about earlier and typically when you get to the back side of a set of ripples like that or a waterfall There'll be some fish hanging out right in that current, collecting up all the food that's coming down off of that. And that was the case, that little guy right there. It looked like a little wild rainbow to me. Couldn't quite tell, but we'll drift back in there again. Maybe he'll bite it again. Nice little deep hole right here. I cannot see the bottom in it. That looks really promising. No guarantees, but very promising. Still haven't actually spotted, but one fish with our glasses. There we go, just like that just like that guys there we go another gorgeous fish just walking along using our polarized lenses to kind of spot where we think they're going to be and we're catching them guys there we go there's fish number four of the day beautiful fish right there too absolutely stunning we started off right there where all the locals are worked our way out of the more out of the way locations guys and here we are plucking fish out of deep little runs no problem there we go guys another gorgeous fish let's just let her go back strong and healthy lost her pinch crawler that's totally a shame but that's all right we'll get right back in here we'll try again here's a beautiful eddy no fishing behind it guys but this is a classic trout spot big stone in the middle of the creek a big eddy a big slack amount of water behind it nobody's laying in it right now but you can almost guarantee that at some point there's been a trout in that spot right there and probably will be in the very near future. So the spot right here is just gorgeous. You got this big curve in the creek right here and trout love to get in a curve of a creek. Typically in a curve, there'll be a deep side and a shallow side. This curve is no different. The deep side's just over there. There we go, we got him. We got him and he was laying just in that deep curve right there, right where he should be. Gorgeous little fish right here. Small little rainbow. Heck yeah, guys, let's just work her into the net. There we go. Smallest fish of the day by far, but that's totally okay, guys. We're not fishing for size today. We're just fishing for the thrill of getting to catch a few. So there's fish number five. Third rainbow of the day. Let's let her go. There she goes strong. And just like I was saying, guys, in this curve in the creek here, it's got a nice shallow side that we're standing on, a nice deep side over there where the water cuts and uh, kind of makes nice little buckets during floods. And all we got to do is just drop our bait right into that bucket, let it drift on by. And if anybody's home, just like that little rainbow, they'll come on over and get it for us. Got him again. Fish number two out of this run. This one's a brown trout. Much larger too. Much larger. Oh yeah. Much larger. Gorgeous fish right here. Let's just slide her on into the net. There we go. There we go, guys. Just like I was saying, creek bends are a very beautiful place to catch fish. River bends as well. They both act the same. And as you can see there, guys, another gorgeous brown trout for our day out. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Well, it doesn't look like there's going to be anybody in here, but this is another extremely high percentage fishery right here, guys. As you can see, we've got a huge log jam going right out to the middle of the creek right here. And that log jam creates a big backflow and it keeps the water from getting to its max capacity and rushing through here quickly and it makes this nice little slow pocket that typically the fish will lay in now from what i'm seeing right now guys there's nobody laying in here could be that they didn't stock this little pool right here it's very possible or that people have called them out but typically a spot like this where you've got a log jam is just a beautiful place to drop in your bait and catch a couple Typically on the back side of a log jam is also really good. This one is not the case. There's no eddies on the back side of this one. It actually flows really fast and gets really shallow. So there's no need to cast over there, but this is another beautiful place. And anytime you see a big log jam like this, 
it's always worth stopping and taking a few minutes and fishing the whole well. Alrighty guys, made it to our next spot. And as you can see, this is an old bridge hole. Anytime you're fishing a state stocked fishery and you can find a bridge spot, guaranteed going to be fish there. And I say that because the trout men look for an easy place to put their fish in. And uh, there's nothing easier than just pulling up to a bridge and letting them fly. So anytime you get around a bridge, guys, definitely stop, slow down, fish it. Probably going to catch a few. Just like that. Just like that, guys. And there we go. Another high percentage location and a fish hooked. Angry little guy too. Gosh, he's fighting hard. Ounce for ounce for ounce. He's fighting like a like a big large mouth or something. Calm down, little buddy. Hope he popped himself off. He's still so angry. But there we go, guys. Another gorgeous rainbow up under this high percentage location bridge. Let's just let her go. There we go, guys. Heck yeah. She didn't manage to lose our pinch crawler, so we'll have to go in for another and get it all rigged up. But if I had to guess, that little fish right there probably has a whole net full swimming with him in there. That's typically the case when you get around these old bridge holes. So although the bridge holes are typically really crowded and you wouldn't consider it necessarily a sneaky spot, it is definitely and by far one of the most high percentage locations statewide and countrywide just because that's where they like to stock the fish out the best. Oh, we had a bite right there. Didn't have time to turn the camera back on and we had the bobber down, guys. Daggone. Let's try that again. Same spot. Just like that. Big and not super big, but the biggest one all day for sure. Heck yeah, guys. Big brownie. Looks like we've been going one for one most of the day so far. Heck yeah. Nice big brown trout. Come right out from under that little log over there. Heck yeah, guys. Two high percentage locations in one little spot equals success, guys. It equals success. There we go. That's a butterball right there. He's just a pure little fat belly. Calm down. Open up your mouth. Mouth full of teeth in this fish. Let's get that out of there quickly. There we go. Heck yeah, guys. Lost another pinch crawler. It's already got, out, got away from us now, but we're just trading pinch crawlers for trout. And that's what they're made for. Heck yeah, let's let her go. So there you go, guys. Another high percentage location. You got a bridge, an easy stocking location for the stock people. You got this beautiful down tree right here, making some nice cover. All you've got to do is just drop your bait in there, guys, and hold on. I'm telling you guys, high percentage locations, fishing 10% of the water really is my secret to success. And if you want to catch fish as well as I do, or as well as the others you're seeing in your area, all you've got to do is start thinking in that same manner, guys, and that's it. Now right here is another very helpful hint, guys. If you look right here, there's tire tracks. We're in a field that typically doesn't get any traffic. It's a cattle pasture. So if there are tire tracks, they're probably gonna be tractor tracks. But when you see pickup truck tires like that, that indicates that the location you're fishing has in fact been stocked because those stock trucks typically run on standard street tires and they're very easy to pick out in a field like this one. All righty guys, got ourselves a nice little bush in this creek bend right here. Ideal fish habitat. Let's see if anybody's at home. Let it drift right on past it. Keep going right on down this bend. This creek just curves beautifully. You got that nice deep spot we was talking about earlier. Up against the bank over there. Just what you're looking for. For stock trout. Ideal location. Let's give it one more drift before we move on. Cause this little spot right here does look super juicy. Super juicy, that's for sure. Very short little cut right here, but it probably would make them feel really protected. So let's just see. Oh yeah, I seen one swimming around in there. Looks like a big one too, guys. It looked like a big one. Couldn't quite tell. Oh yeah, he's in there. We got him. We got him. That's the fish we seen. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Another big old brownie out of another creek bend. Once again, another high percentage location. Got in between these two bushes here, these two old laurel patches. 
And wouldn't you know it, she was laying in there waiting for us, guys. Kicked off her pinch crawler, but we was able to save that one. That's always good. Stuck her hand in her mouth, mouth full of teeth. Wasn't quite as big as I thought when she was down in there, but she's no tiny one. We'll take her. Heck yeah. Got him. There we go. Not a big one, but we got ourselves another one, guys. Looks like a little rainbow came out of there. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. So still going pretty much one for one between browns and rainbows. And we've caught all of them on that yellow pinch crawler. It's just been a hot bait here lately. And I highly recommend you guys grab yourself some. Let's let her go. Right here, back strong. There she goes. Oh gosh, they are loaded right here in front of us, boys and girls. Right here. Another very high percentage location is anywhere and everywhere a tree is growing out of the creek. If you can get a tree to come up out of the creek, it's going to have roots that extend into that creek, and there will definitely be fish around it. Typically only happens in a creek bend, but it can happen just about anywhere. Got him. We got him. Oh gosh, we might. Yeah, we still got him, but we've got a mess too, guys. Daggone, do we ever. Fixing to lose this one too. Oh, maybe not. Got all of our problems fixed there. Oh, kinda. There we go, that's better. That's better, guys. Heck yeah. Added ourselves a little split shot weight to get down there and pulled ourselves one right out of this little tree hole here. And once again, guys, any trees that are growing into the creek or river or pond or lake most likely have roots that extend into the same into the same body of water there, guys. And odds are, if you can get your bait up there next to that old tree, you're going to catch the fish, guys. Now, that one came on the natural color, but I had to get it down there a little bit deeper in order to catch that fish. So I'm thinking we'll switch back up to the yellow. It has been the color of the day. We'll just drop it right on back in here and uh, see if we can't get ourselves another one. Got him on. Got him on, guys. Right here in front of us. Didn't even have time to get the old camera running. This little beauty was all over us. Yes, she was. Another gorgeous brownie. Come here, girl. There we go. Heck yeah. Another gorgeous brown trout. Hooked right in the bottom jaw right there. There we go, just barely skin hooked. Just like you like right there, guys. A beautiful little brownie. Let's just let her go. Let her go on back strong. I don't know how many fish we've caught today, guys, but it's been extremely successful. And we've just been hitting our high percentage locations, guys. Hitting spots where we're pretty positive the stock man did in fact stock. And places that the fish can get in and get very, very comfortable and easy to catch. And uh, so far today, guys, We've caught about a dozen fish and we've talked to several anglers and nobody's quite doing as well as we are but there has been some success from other people but all in all guys we're just we're just putting in work as you can see here here's another one a little rainbow this time it looks like just stopping in all these little holes little high percentage spots dropping that old pinch crawler in there a bait that trout truly can't resist and we're catching them up Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. There's another gorgeous little rainbow trout out of old Burke's Fork. Gorgeous fish right there. Let's just let her go. Go on back strong, girl. Alrighty, guys. So much fun. I can hardly contain myself. Heck yeah. We got him firing on that pinch crawler on all cylinders. Pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. So, so far today, just out of a quick recap, we've hit log jams, bridges, creek bends, deep eddies, 
and tree roots or trees that are in curves. And every spot we've stopped at today, guys, every high percentage location has yielded us a fish. And all in all, I can almost guarantee that our success is solely because of our ability to know where the fish are, make multiple casts where we believe they are, and then catch them. And all in all, guys, it's worked really well for us. We've caught ourselves about a dozen fish, maybe more. And, uh, you know, out of a state stock stream that's been extremely crowded, boot prints everywhere, people pulling in, fishing all around us, we've done really, really well. Got him. That's a better one. That's a better one right there. That feels like a little bit bigger of a fish right there, guys. Certainly is. Much larger brownie right here. Gorgeous little hen, it looks like. Light colored brown trout there. Not super big, but another quality, quality eater size. Once again, pegged on the bottom jaw, very loosely. Gorgeous fish right there, guys. Let's just let her go. Take off, big girl. Well, guys, it's just one after the other. One after the other. We're getting around these high percentage holes. We're dropping our little T-Mag rig with our pinch crawler in, and we just cannot keep the fish off, guys. And to be completely honest with you, I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, gosh, that was a giant one. I don't even know if that was a trout. I just spooked something out of its spot right there, though, and it had a gigantic side on it. I mean, if that's a if that's a trout, it's a thick boy. Oh, got one. Not the fish we've seen flash down there, but we got one. Heck yeah, guys. Just catching them up, one after the other. Let's give this little beauty the old trout flip. There we go. Small little whippersnapper here. Little male. Trying to grow himself a little kite jaw. Gorgeous little fish right there. We'll just slide right on over here into the creek. And we'll let her go. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. All righty, boys and girls. Very last cast of the day going in. Hearing a bit of thunder rolling off in the distance there. We want to get out of here before that sets up too much. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you smash that like button. And if for any reason I did in fact miss something, there's a fish. Let's reel this one in first. But if I did miss something, guys, that's important, please let me know down there in the comments when it comes to high percentage fishing locations. We've hit our high percentage locations, guys. We've been putting in work, catching trout after trout in all of these little high percentage holes. And like I was saying, guys, if you know of any other tricks or tips, for high percentage locations and how to find them, be sure to share down there in the comment section below. But that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. I'm all fished out. I gotta try to beat this rain. But get out if you can, guys, and do some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.